Welcome. Welcome everyone after a long break. Thank I'm you. really sorry for inconvenience. I was sick. Uh, still, I speak very slowly. <laughs> I cannot talk too much. I will not deliver my lecture uh, two hours. Today, we will try to complete everything within an hour, okay? Okay. Okay, now, we already completed Python programming up to intermediate level. And that's really good enough to go to web development with Python or web automation with Python. Now with Python, we can do a lot of things. Actually, uh, let me open just mm -hmm. terminal cd desktop and let's make a directory and name it web automation <coughs> Wait, so we need to Web automation. And just open it. Okay. Let me write some something. Okay, fine. This is our Visual Studio code, right? Right. Okay. We know how to deal with Visual Studio code. Mm -hmm. Let me open our text index.html. <coughs> and we already completed successfully completed yes python python programming okay and whatever we have done that's good enough to learn web development we can now go for web development software developments. Software engineering. Even if you if you want to go to data science, you can go to data science and become data scientists. If you want to go to Cyber security. Engineer, you can go. If you want to go to AI, means artificial intelligence, you can go there also. Then you can go to web automation engineering. And this is also called software development engineer in tests. In brief, we say as that. <coughs> and this is also called test automation. engineer okay so last three is actually same mm. now 
you have to focus on one area. Okay? Then, after you go to the industry, find a job, then wherever you want to develop your career, you can keep developing. But my suggestion is take the easiest way, okay? Go to the job first and keep developing your career the way you want, okay? <clears throat> now, the easiest way is this last three then second okay then you can choose this 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 that whatever but the easiest one is this you can learn it within a month now keep mm -hmm. another month practicing then just directly go to the industry okay this is my suggestion when you like august in august okay. when you started touching now you can check go to indeed.com okay and you can check web automation. automation. Yes. Testing. Okay, let's check Brooklyn or the whole USA. California. Uh, California, yeah, my area first. That means our area. California, okay. Go to California. Web automation. <coughs> oh my God! Good salary. Definitely, definitely. No. You can also write the same. Up <coughs> Kelly. California city, but the only California, Dodgena, only California. Yes, just California. Yeah. California. End to end, remote. So, end to end, remote, remote. Oh, all no, a remote job is good. Uh, work from home. Yes, all are remote. All are remote. Okay. $43.50 per hour. This is the what the requirement? This is, this is minimum. This is minimum if you starting, no? Yeah, yeah. The, for the starting level, how much is that? $50 means uh, more than 100K. In, yeah. the, in the entry level, uh, junior level, right? A junior level is the senior level. How much will be the junior level? Okay. And available. That's very good. Okay. Or if you just press selenium. Good. 125 figure 150. Okay, okay. I like that job. I like that job. 40 figure 50. Yeah. $70 an hour, okay. Okay, so not bad. Yeah. No. Not bad, very good. First, you have to know what is selenium. Yes, what is selenium. Selenium. What is selenium? Selenium is a portable framework for testing web application. Selenium oh. is not just a tool, it is right. set of tools, okay? 
not only just one tool. It is set of tools. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What does it do? It automates browser. Okay. It's automates. Mm. The, is, is that the framework that means that tool is free or that we have to buy this? It is free. Okay, definitely. definitely it is free. Now, to start working with this tool, what we need, first we need a browser and definitely you must use Google Chrome. Then Firefox, at least these two. Google Chrome or Firefox, okay. The more you use, the better, but at least you have to practice with two browsers because these two are mostly used. Google Chrome and, and the Firefox. Firefox. Mozilla Firefox. Okay. Now we all have browser Chrome, right? Yes. Yeah. So before you start doing anything, what do you have to do? First, you have to check the version of your browser. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. How to check it? Can I check? How can I check the version of the browser? Click on these three dots on the top right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then keep going. I think, oh, help. Help. Ah, uh, yes. Help about Google Chrome. And it will show you the version, okay? 90. My version is 90, remember. If you are using 91, I think latest browser is 91 going on. Oh, my browser also 90. If you are using 90, remember, you have to also use the web driver, driver for the Google Chrome, okay. 90, you have to use the same version, okay? I don't understand, can you say again? You have to always use the same version, Google Chrome and Chrome driver. Oh, what is the Chrome driver, what is this? Chrome driver is a tool, software, that will drive the Google Chrome to automate any web application. Oh, okay. Okay, we will see it within a few seconds. Okay. And another thing we need, just go here and type here. I'm using a MacBook, so I just press command and spacebar and I can type here PyCharm. Now, PyCharm Community Edition. When I click here, it will open. Now, if you don't have, then what you have to do, you have to just open Google Chrome and just write PyCharm Community download oh. and there are PyCharm one okay. is community version another one is professional version if you are using professional version you have to pay nine dollar per month nine or twelve dollar I forgot but you can use one month free. I prefer community version because it is free. Just click on download, okay? And go to open when done. And just very straightforward, install. Okay, install, 
next, 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 next. Very straightforward. So I already installed. So I pause here or I just cancel. Okay. So you have to do it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close Visual Studio Code. Okay. Okay. And going to open PyCharm CE means Community Edition. Click. PyCharm is being opened. Okay. okay, so what I'm going to do, I just click on open, you see open, or you can click on new project, open, go to desktop, and choose the web automation that we just created, web automation. In the top, in the top, yeah. This one, hmm. okay. And click on open. It opens with the folder I created. Project is here, okay. Hmm. Now I close. Index.html, actually I'm not using any HTML file, so I just click here on web automation. Okay, right button click. New, go to new, and you can create a package. Package is nothing but a folder like directory, okay? But I can create directly a file or Python file. We are using Python, so I'm going to create Python file. Okay. And name it. <clears throat> Amazon.py, say for example. You see, Amazon.py. Yeah. And I can check whether it's working, Prince. Hello, engineers. Right button click, run Amazon.py. And I see, hello engineers, it's running. Okay, now, I just open terminal, okay? And just say, pip, pip is Python package manager. It comes with Python when we install Python, okay? It comes with Python. Pip install mm -hmm. Selenium. Press enter and it will install Selenium. Collecting Selenium. It says requirement already satisfied, means Selenium is already there. Okay, I can say pip uninstall Selenium and it will uninstall Selenium. Mm. Proceed, yes, 
Y means yes. Successfully uninstalled. Okay. If I check pip lists, means pip show me the lists, whatever I have. It's saying I have a lot of things, but I don't have Selenium anymore. Okay. Now I want pip install Selenium. Selenium. Again, it will install Selenium. The requirement already satisfied means installed. Okay. Now you can check pip list in lists. Yes. Is there Selenium right here? Selenium. Yeah. The top. Okay. So. Now pip install behave behave is framework oh. and it is satisfied successfully installed behavior. okay and you can say also fit freeze it will show you the version and the main software you have on your computer. Oh, freeze means that show that they will allow you yeah. to show that. Save. Okay. okay. Now. Freeze. So Selenium is yeah. installed. Very simple, right? Very simple. Now, what you can do, if you want to check, double check, you can check it if you want. Okay. You can go to item and you can check preferences. Okay. Let me go to system preferences. Actually, we don't need, we already checked, okay? So we can start writing Selenium code. Okay. Okay. Let's try. You have to always keep Python on your head and heart now, okay? Mm -hmm. Now you can say from Selenium imports, import means bring web driver. Okay, you see? It's important. Okay, now let's try initialize web driver. I just keep a note so that you can remember. Okay, mm. so it's web driver dot chrome okay then I will leave another node span the window you will know it within few minutes now Web driver is a driver of Google Chrome, okay? That drives the Google Chrome to automate any browser or web application, remember? 
Now this Chrome is class, okay? So we need object. Now how we create object? We create any variable and this variable is object. Remember how we create objects in Python the same way we are creating driver objects to access the methods and functions, the attributes of Python, okay? So it is an object. We create objects so that we can access attributes, methods, and functions, okay? Now, we don't have driver yet. So we have to download it. So I go to Google and say, Chrome driver download. Chrome driver dot chromium dot org. Just click here. You remember your Chrome? Version is the same. Version is ninety, right? Yeah. So click on Chrome driver ninety because you have to use the same. Same. Yeah. And for. Chrome driver Mac 64, this one. You are using Windows, so you have to use this one. So is it the Win32? 32. 32. For driver, Chrome driver, 32 is used for both 32 and 64. Oh. So I choose this one. I'm using Mac. Let's see, it is here. Where? Here. Three. I have to extract it. Double click. And Chrome driver is there. Just choose any one right button, click. Copy. Okay. Just copy it. Go back. Go to web underscore automation, right button, click and paste here. Chrome driver is already here. Okay. And Chrome driver is here, okay. Now, we have to say executable path. You see, it is already there. Press enter. Then inside the executable path, we have to give the path of Chrome driver. Right button click, take the copy path. Not copy, copy path. And take the absolute path, okay? And paste here, okay? Now, right button click, Run it. You see, it's invoking the browser. Okay. Did you see it? Invoke the browser. Okay. Now, I have to import a couple of things. Okay. Couple of things. What are this? I have to import from from time.
three chords sleep you will know what is sleep then you need another thing that is you have to import selenium dot web driver dot common dot by import by now what is by I will show you within few minutes okay now remember these are common these three things always you need to import okay so if you can't remember just copy and paste but if you practice three four five times it's enough to remember okay now you are invoking google from then now you say expand the window so you will say driver remember driver is variable at the same time object whenever you using driver and dot dot operators <clears throat> You can access all the methods and functions inside web driver and Selenium, whatever uh, attributes, methods, and functions it has, you can access everything. Because it is an object we created. Okay. Driver. Now you say maximize the window and it will maximize the window. And you can say driver dot implicitly waits three seconds or five seconds. You are telling driver to wait three seconds before it takes action. Okay. Then you say open the URL of anything you want to test. Say, for example, you want to test Amazon.com. So you say driver dot dot gets and https colon slash slash Amazon dot com. Okay. Right button click. It is not um, It's invoking the browser, type amazon.com and it navigates to amazon.com. Mm. Okay. It's really powerful tool. Okay. Now, I just want to quit. So driver dot quit. Great. Since I want to close. Okay. And before it, I can print anything I want. Congratulations. Test is passed. Now you see, you have two browsers here. We can quit. 
Oops. Okay. Now you don't have any browser if you're open. Right button click. Run Amazon. Open. Invoke the browser. Navigate to Amazon. And quit. No more mm -hmm. browser here. But if you don't say quit, it will stay. Browser will be there. You see, it's here. Mm -hmm. But when you say quit, it will quit everything. Pen and go quit. Okay. You see? Okay. Now, we also took sleep. You see? We, from time, we import sleep. Now, what is sleep? Sleep. Before quit, we can say sleep five seconds. Say, for example. This is also five seconds, say for example. Now both sleep means it will sleep, hold, wait, five seconds. Mm. Implicitly wait means it will wait until it find any locators. It can be ID, it can be a class, it can be name, anything, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if it can find element within one second, it will keep going on. Mm -hmm. But sleep will sleep for five seconds. Be it successful to find any elements or not, it will sleep for five seconds. Remember the difference. Mm -hmm. But implicitly wait when it can find elements in a drive. It keep going. It doesn't wait five seconds. Mm -hmm. So it's a really very important question in the interview. What sleep. are the difference between implicitly wait and sleep? And sleep. Okay. Now it is very important. For the day one to download uh, this editor, mm -hmm. high -tech community edition, mm -hmm. then Chrome driver, you have to download and bring here, okay? Download but it should be the same version. Then mm. invoke the browser, initialize the web driver, maximize the window, okay? Then understand implicitly wait and sleep. Open in URL, print something, and then quit the driver. Remember, the driver is an object. You can keep here Vincent, and it will work. Instead of driver, you can say Vincent. Still, it will work. You can say Vincent because.